input bias current from an operational amplifier can greatly affect the performance of any precision application. Hi, I'm David Yeager with the Precision Analog Group from Texas Instruments. Over the next few minutes, we'll look at how input bias current affects a circuit and how to choose the best amplifier for optimal performance. Input bias current is defined as the input current into or out of the input of the op amp. This current is necessary for the input stages of the op amp to function properly. This current will not only flow into or out of the amp, it will also flow through any resistance tied to the input. Let's go through an example of how the input bias current can affect a circuit. Let's start out with an amplifier with a low offset voltage of 50 microvolts and an input bias current of 5 nanoamps. The voltage offset caused by the input bias current will be the product of the source resistance and the input bias current. With a 1 mega ohm resistance, the voltage offset on the input will be 5 millivolts. That's over 100 times higher than the offset of the amplifier itself. This offset will also be multiplied if there is a gain stage in the amplifier. The accuracy of any precision amplifier can be totally negated by this induced offset. In order to realize optimal performance, the op amp and its input bias current must be matched to the source impedance. Let's take a look at the OPA211 and the OPA827. The OPA211 has a voltage noise of 1.1 nanovolts per root hertz and a voltage offset of 50 microvolts. The OPA827 has a voltage noise of 4 nanovolts per root hertz and a voltage offset of 125 microvolts. Both are low noise, low offset precision amplifiers, but one is a bipolar amp and one is a JFET amp. The OPA827 with the JFET input has a much higher input impedance and lower input bias current than the bipolar OPA211. Lower input bias current does mean lower current noise, but we need to keep in mind that the current noise is a function of the source resistance. Graphing the total noise of these parts versus the source resistance, you can see that the OPA211 has a lower overall noise at the lower source impedance, while the OPA827 has lower noise at high source resistance. So, the selection of the bipolar versus JFET will depend on the source resistance on the input to the amplifier. If the source resistance is high, use a JFET. If the source resistance is low, use a bipolar amp. Whether the application is test and measurement, instrumentation, medical, high-end audio, or data acquisition, the combination of OPA-211 and OPA-827 ensures that TI will have a precision amplifier solution, whatever the source resistance may be. For more information on these products or to order samples, please visit www.ti.com.